Zinc metal reacts with aqueous hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Part A asks us to write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction, and Part B says how many grams of zinc chloride are formed when 15 grams of zinc metal reacts with 15 grams of aqueous hydrochloric acid. So first, let's look at Part A, write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. So what do we have? We have zinc metal, so that's Zn, and it's a metal, we can write a solid here, plus aqueous hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is HCl, and it's aqueous, so I can write Aq. And that's gonna give us zinc chloride. Hmm, I'm gonna come back to that one. That one's a little bit harder to figure out. Plus hydrogen gas. That would be H2, and I can write a G for gas. Why is it H2? Because hydrogen is one of the genuine diatomics. That means things ending in gen or ein are diatomic. So it's not just H, it's going to be H2 because hydrogen ends with a gen, so it's a genuine diatomic. Now what about this thing, zinc chloride? Well I know that chlorine, or I should say chlorine, has an oxidation state of negative one, but what about zinc? What's the oxidation state of zinc? If we know that, then we can figure out if this is ZnCl or ZnCl2 or ZnCl3 or maybe something else. Um, so in order to figure out the oxidation state of zinc, if you don't already know it, take a look at the periodic table and we'll make uh, an educated guess. Here's a partial periodic table. I don't have any of the elements after 55, but we don't really care about any of those right now. We're just interested in zinc, which is number 30. That's right here. Let's write down the electron uh, configuration for zinc. So for zinc, we can see that the last uh, noble gas uh, that we come across before we get to zinc is argon. So I can write argon in brackets. And then I'm gonna have, well this is an S block, it's a 4S block, and this is a D block. It's a 3D block. It's a full 3D block, so it's gonna be 3D, and there's 10 electrons in that. And then we have a full 4S block of two. What is zinc going to do? So it's most likely going to want to lose the two electrons in the 4S. It has a complete 3D, so it doesn't really wanna give up any of those. Uh, so these two electrons that are here in the 4s, those are the ones that are likely going to go. So for zinc, we can say that it's going to most likely be Zn2+. Plus. It's going to have an oxidation state of plus 2. Okay, so now we can go back to our reaction. We have zinc metal, so Zn solid, plus aqueous hydrochloric acid, HCl, and I can write the Aq. It's going to give us, okay, so zinc chloride. We said that zinc was plus two, chlorine minus one. If we're gonna balance this, we're gonna need two chlorines to make up for the plus two on the zinc. So this is gonna be ZnCl2. And uh, it turns out this is a solid. Here's a picture of zinc chloride. So it looks like a bunch of uh, crystals here. And we also have hydrogen gas. So that's H2G. And to balance this, it's pretty easy to balance. Um, the zincs are balanced already. Uh, just the chlorines here. We have a two here, only one here. So if I put a two right here, that takes care of the chlorines. And it also takes care of the hydrogens. Two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here. It's balanced. Now let's look at part B. Zinc metal is reacting with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. And they're telling us we have 15 grams of the zinc metal and 15 grams of the hydrochloric acid since they're giving us amounts for both of the reactants. This is a limiting reactant problem. We need to figure out uh, which one of those two things is going to limit our reaction. So a good question to ask might be, if the zinc were to react completely with the hydrochloric acid, how much hydrochloric acid would be required? So before we answer this, we should probably write down all the molar masses that we're going to need. So, um, and maybe before we do that even, maybe we should rewrite what the equation was. So we had uh, zinc solid plus two, 
HCl aqueous is going to give us zinc chloride and that was a solid plus hydrogen gas. Now it's two molar masses. So we're going to need hydrogen, chlorine, and zinc. So we have zinc right here. So the molar mass of zinc is, we can just read that right off the chart, that's 65.38 grams per mole. Next we have hydrochloric acid, that's HCl. So HCl is going to be 1H, so that's 1.0079 grams per mole, plus 1 chlorine. Uh, chlorine is 35.453 grams per mole. And if you add this up, you should end up getting 36.4609. And that will be grams per mole. And we should also look at zinc chloride. So ZnCl2. And that's going to be one zinc, so that's 65.38 grams per mole. And we have two chlorines, so that's two times the chlorine, which is 35.453 grams per mole. And if you do that on a calculator, you end up getting 136.286 grams per mole. Okay. So now we're ready to ask, if the zinc were to react completely with the hydrochloric acid, how much hydrochloric acid would we need? So we have 15 grams of zinc. So 15.0 grams of zinc. And by the way, we have 15 grams of each thing. You might think that they'll cancel each other out, but it's not true because uh, remember, the, we're not looking at uh, just the amount in grams. We have to factor in uh, the molar mass and how they're reacting with each other. So we have a zinc plus two hydrochloric acids. So let's do our train tracks here to figure it out. So we always start with what we know. We know we have 15 grams of zinc. We want to convert that into grams of hydrochloric acid. So first thing I need to do, if I'm going to go from one substance to another, I can only do that through moles. And so I got to convert this to moles. I have 65.38 grams per mole. So the 65.38 is going to go downstairs, and that's grams of zinc. And that corresponds to one mole of zinc. Okay, now that I have moles of zinc, I can convert to moles of hydrochloric acid using the coefficients in the equation. There's a one right here and a two right here. So one mole of zinc corresponds to two moles of HCl. And last, I don't want moles of HCl, I want grams of HCl. So I can use this, 36.4609, and that's gonna go upstairs, 36.4609. And this is grams of HCl, and that corresponds to one mole of HCl. Okay, and let's make sure everything cancels. So grams of zinc cancels with grams of zinc. Moles of zinc cancels with moles of zinc. Moles of hydrochloric acid cancels with moles of hydrochloric acid, and I'm left with grams of HCl, and that's what I want. Okay, and if you do this on a calculator, you end up getting 16.73 grams of HCl. Okay, how much do we have? Well, we only have 15 grams of HCl available. We need 16.73 grams in order for this to react completely with the zinc. So in this case, we can tell that HCl hydrochloric acid is limiting. Okay, so since we know that HCl is limiting, that's what we're gonna use to figure out how much zinc chloride is formed. So we start with 15 grams of HCl. And we're gonna do our train tracks again. 
And this time, let's see, we're going to want to convert to zinc chloride. So again, we're going to have to go to moles. So I can do that first by using the molar mass, 36.4609. And that's going to go downstairs, 36.4609 grams of HCl. And that corresponds to one mole of HCl. Now I can go from moles of HCl to moles of zinc chloride using the coefficients here. I have a 2 in front of the HCl. I have a 1 in front of the zinc chloride. So that means that 2 moles of HCl, I want the 2 moles of HCl down here so it cancels if the moles up here, corresponds to 1 mole of zinc chloride. And I'm almost done. I don't want moles of zinc chloride. I want grams of zinc chloride. So I need to use the molar mass of zinc chloride. That's the 136 number here. So that's going to go upstairs, 136.286 grams of zinc chloride corresponds to one mole of zinc chloride. And now I think we're OK. Let's make sure that everything cancels. So I have grams of hydrochloric acid cancels with grams of hydrochloric acid. Moles of hydrochloric acid cancels with moles of hydrochloric acid. Moles of zinc chloride cancels with moles of zinc chloride. And I'm left with grams of zinc chloride. That's what I want. And if you do this on a calculator, you end up getting 28.034 grams of zinc chloride. And if we look at our significant figures, uh, the numbers uh, given to us in the problem each have three significant figures. So I should probably write this as 28.0 grams of zinc chloride.